In between takes, Gina, you said something interesting. You've got to know when you're losing this the room hypothetical room. Mm -hmm. How do you know? You can, you know, when somebody, I mean, you're gonna, there's always exceptions where somebody will look incredibly interested and then, you know, you hear from your agent, such a pass, you know, that there's exceptions, but by and large, you know, these people are as interested in finding a great movie as you are in delivering it, you know? And so they, you know, you believe you have this great idea. They want, you know, they want to believe that you have this great idea. So at the, because it helps their career and, you know, people, their jobs are as um, vulnerable as ours. You know, we're all interlock dependency. And when they see that there's no way that they're going to be able to sell this thing to their boss, their attention drifts. You know, you see them checking, you know, their phone. You see them um, looking at their message slips. You see them um, checking the other, you know, their colleagues. You just, you know, like anything. I mean, any t you know, it's like being on a date. You know when the date is like not kicking, you know? And then you just know now that, and I've never been surprised. I've never had ever, and you know, I don't know how many pictures I've gone to, but plenty. I've, it's never been like, oh, that tanked where you then hear, no, they loved it. You know, they don't, you know, it's like, you know, when you, if you, you own a house, so you know, your realtor says, oh, don't act like you like it, you know, but it's not like that. It, you know, if the person likes it, they want to, they want to engage you right away. They want to put their vision and if they're a good executive they improve it you know and you can tell if they like it now whether I've had executives say god I love this there's no way I could sell it you know um but when you're in the middle of a pitch you know and I always say look I'll tell you the concept and the arena and if you like it I'll tell you the scenes because if they don't like the concept like if they don't want to do a movie you know about grasshoppers in Alaska, why bother telling them the scenes? And they're grateful for that because these people are busy. You know, they'll go, no, I don't want to do another snow movie, you know, next, you know? And because they are, you know, a lot of people go in there and they're afraid of them. And there's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, yeah, they, they decide whether, it's rare that they're the ones that say yes or no because it's always a committee and blah 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 but you know they need you as much as you need them and that's what the timid writer has to realize that they need ideas and you know and then it's just a question of you know is that one for them and that's why it's hard for writers that don't know how to pitch i mean you know not everybody's a salesperson and, but you have to be in those rooms because unless you are an already established, brilliant writer that they know you'll deliver, you know, they don't know that if, you, if you're, they're just meeting you and it's a raw pitch.